<laughs> hey guys, this is Nicole. That is the kind of baby honey camera, and we're coming on you with the greatest video of the century. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> and these are my top five hacks for not gaining weight in a quarantine, baby. been getting a ton of comments lately about people who have been stress eating and they're gaining a lot of weight in the quarantine and they're like starting to get really sad about it so we thought let's do a video with our favorite tips on how to avoid gaining weight especially during this time number one get the treats you want the, I know this is gonna sound super weird However, whenever Kyle and I have denied ourselves, especially in stressed out situations when we used to go to food, if we would deny ourselves, it would just backfire. So if you get the treats you want, go to the store, get what you want. We learned if we portion it out, that helps. Well, allowing ourselves some of the food seem to stop us from constantly reaching for it. We get ourselves the food we want, we allow ourselves a portion, and then the rest we put on a shelf for another day. If you're someone who can't keep food on the shelf right now, throw all of it in the freezer, have a portion and put the rest in the freezer, or get single serving packages. Another thing is, a lot of takeout and fast food places are available for drive-through or takeout right now. You can get that stuff, get it, put half in a Tupperware container and throw it in your freezer for another time. If it's frozen, it takes a lot of effort to thaw it out, which means you're gonna really want it if you wanna go through all that trouble to heat it up again. Let yourself eat the food. What happens when I tell myself I can't have a treat? I might not have it for a while, but then one day I'm gonna get that treat and I'm gonna eat every single piece of it. So if I get a bag of chips and I said, no, I can't have it, I'm gonna eat two bags of chips. And it's usually some, like for me, for me it could even be something silly. Like if I get in my head somewhere that I can't have grapes, red grapes or something, I'll then <laughs> start obsessing about red grapes because I, it was like, I told myself I couldn't have it. Exactly, and then sometimes what happens, and this has happened to Kyle and I many times, is you'll deny yourself a food that you really like and then we started turning to foods that we didn't even like, but we ate all of it anyway. You know, like the worst cookies, like the old stale cookies in your house that you don't really want, but you eat them because they're there, because you feel guilty about eating the cookies. Yeah, it'll turn into a big cycle of, then you're gonna reach for something you don't want, and then you feel guilty about that, and then you just keep going and going and going. So allowing yourself the treats that you want in portion or in single serving sizes, will help from constantly reaching for food, which can help prevent weight gain. <laughs> Number two, it's a little bit of this. It's a little bit of move your body. There are no gyms right now. However, outside, the weather is getting really nice. Even if it's raining or the weather isn't the greatest, you can just move around your house. You know, do laps around your house or your apartment or whatever. If you have stairs, walk up and down your stairs. You can literally just walk in place for 10, 15 minutes. Move your body. It doesn't matter what you do. Throw on some YouTube music and you won't be as good dancer as me, but you'll get the job done. <laughs> you know? like I know it's popular right now and it's a good idea to stay home, but staying home doesn't mean you can't go outside. Or move your body, period. You know, a lot of people are saying like, they got so stressed out, they just, they keep reaching for food and they stopped working out and they're getting really sad. Don't have to do that. Move your body, walk around, take your dog for a walk, um, stay in the house if you don't wanna go outside. Just move around your house. You can literally sit and watch TV, get some, you know, you can take a, a water jug and you can do curls with your water jug while you're sitting watching TV. You don't have to do anything extravagant. Just make sure you guard the controller when you're doing like curls or like couch workouts because you don't want your wife to get the controller because then it's just game over. <laughs> I watch the bestest stuff. <laughs> but anyways guys, going back to 
get some fresh air. Like, yes, staying home is great, but you don't have to stay inside. Stay, you can go in your backyard, get some fresh air. It's a good immunity booster. Yep, you can walk around in your backyard, you can go on your front porch, whatever, get a little bit of fresh air, pop open a window, whatever, just move your body some way. Number three, don't drink your calories. Again, coffee places in Canada, they're open right now for drive through However, coffee's great. We love coffee, we have it every day. It's the adding stuff into your drinks that will start adding up the calories without you even realizing it. Even someone who wakes up and decides, I'm gonna be healthy today, I'm gonna have a smoothie. If you're not portioning out what you put in it and you're just throwing in fruit and you're throwing in peanut butter and you don't know how much, that adds up to quite a bit of calories, sugar, and carbs. If you're putting cream and sugar in your coffee every single day or you're someone who has three or four coffees a day, That'll add up at the end of the day that of calories you don't even think about. And the worst part about drinking your calories that we found is the, the, you get all the calories, you put on the weight, but you don't get to stay full. No, and we actually did this the other day as an experiment. We had a smoothie for dinner. We put spinach, protein powder, milk, and we, we had that as a meal replacement sort of thing, just as an experiment. We were starving half an hour later. The reason is, there's a reason you have teeth. It, when you chew, your body goes through a digestion process where it actually feels like it's eating. When you put stuff in a blender or you're just drinking your calories in protein shakes or meal replacements, your body didn't, didn't do any chewing, so the digestion process is already sort of done for you, and then you get starving so fast. So. You can, if you love, you know, putting stuff in your coffee, using zero calorie sweetener or non-dairy milk will lessen the calories but still give you the feeling that you're drinking a coffee with sugar and creamer in it. And, you know, if you like pop, drinking the diet kind will take away the excess calories. I know there's been a lot of posts lately on social media about fancy coffee drinks and it's possible to make one of those with less of the sugar and you know fat and stuff that's added into it just choose the zero calorie sweeteners and things like that so you can still have fancy drinks just portion stuff and choose the lighter versions no metal four <laughs> that's why we make lists no metal four Drink your water. As you can see, exhibit A. Drinking water does so many things. It helps with weight loss, it helps with digestion, and when you get enough water and your digestion cycles work improperly, less bloating. Also, if you drink water with your meals, water helps you get fuller faster, which means you're gonna be reaching for food less. And, if you don't drink enough water, your body sends signals that it's hungry when really it's dehydrated. So you might think you're hungry, but you really just need water. So getting your water in guarantees you reaching for food less and also making sure you're hydrated, which makes all the processes in your body work better, which equals less weight gain. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm making myself laugh. Number five. That makes oh. one of us. <laughs> At least I can entertain myself. Have a bag or a container of some sort with items in it that you can do instead of reaching for food. A lot of the times Kyle and I found when we were reaching for food because we were stressed out, we weren't actually hungry. We were looking for a way to deal with things or distract ourselves from dealing with And things. there's a lot of boredom going around when people are trapped inside. Exactly, when you can't go anywhere, there's a lot of stress about the unknown, and there's a lot of boredom because you can't go anywhere. And you're probably, you know, if you're a parent, you've got children and you can't escape, you're just here, baby. And you so, might be like Nicole and have a really big sweater that falls off your shoulders every five seconds. That can happen too if you don't watch out and be careful. Hashtag sassy pants down below right now. Look this, at that sweater. This is what I'm dealing with in the quarantine. A sassy Meister behind the camera that's always sassing. And you can't escape. Nope. 
I'm Look stuck. It. See, it happened again. Remember when he, he is the sassiest bear in the world. Making fun of my clothes, he's sassing all day. <laughs> Okay, okay, can we get on with this number five with the bag? You see, like the video is always longer because somebody has to be distracto man. <laughs> so, the bag. Keep it wherever you tend to go for food. So, a shelf, a cupboard, by your fridge, on your counter, wherever you're gonna see it and be easier to reach for you. So. I just chose a bag and I have a, a few examples. I put some of my favorite things to do other than, you know, reaching for food. I've got a book for reading. What book is that? Nora Roberts Chasing Fire. Pretty good. It's pretty good, guys. Yeah, you like it? Yep. It's a thriller romance. Romantic. <laughs> I've got a diet pop because Sometimes I just need a sweet treat and this has no calories, sugar, anything in it So I reach for this instead of food. I also put some sugar-free gum <laughs> <laughs> So what happens when you have baggy sweaters? <laughs> Told you I also <laughs> safety hazards there and there <laughs> I also put some sugar-free gum for the same reason It's upside down Leave it to Sassy. I also put some sugar-free gum. See, the reason is because that when I was looking at it, it wasn't upside down. See that? Excuses. <laughs> okay, I also put sugar-free gum for the same reason. And I love that it comes in really good flavors because it makes me feel like I'm having a treat without the added calories. I also put a dog leash in there so that I could take Hank for a walk instead of reaching for food. That's a great reminder. Let's go play with Bubba. Yeah, instead, because sometimes when you're in the moment, if you don't have a bag or a box like this, you're not even gonna think of it. But if you see the box and you're like, oh yeah, I could just be taking my dog for a walk right now or drinking a Diet Pop, it'll sort of give you that second to go, oh, I'm actually not really hungry. I would rather do these things. Make sure you don't get these confused too. Like, don't like drink this instead of this. If yeah. you have this in your bag. <laughs> you don't want to drink this. I mean, you might, but it's probably not good for you. No, it's not a good idea. <laughs> yes, yeah, don't do this. It's not yeah. a good idea. Use this for your nails. Pro tip. I love nail polish is one thing. If you've seen some of our videos, I always say, Paint your nails. I love painting my nails, especially in the beginning when I needed to distract myself from eating food. This works because when your nails are wet, you don't want to reach for stuff because you'll smudge them. So I always include that in a list, in my list of things to do other than food or in a bag of things or a box of things. I always include nail polish um, or, you know, anything similar to it. There are some people that knit whatever you want to put in your bag or box It's open. You can also put a list in there of other things that you can do that won't fit in the bag You know, so That is it guys. I hope this helps you. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video and we hope that you are inspired to try some of these things and we wanted to do this video because we Feel you guys. We know that you're stressed out right now. We know that quarantine weight gain is real and the struggle is real. And so we're coming at you with this video in hopes to help. And we hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, guys, put in the comments sweater on or off the shoulders. Hashtag sassy pants and hashtag baggy sweater. <laughs> <laughs> now do it down below. <laughs> don't forget to uh Interrupt the video drinking water, Hank. And don't forget to hit the bell with notifications. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you didn't already. Check us out on Instagram, at the Colettes. And if you want to laugh like, go to TikTok, at the Colettes. Get it? And thanks so much for watching. We love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Peace out, dudes. The Colettes is out. Ooh. Getting old for the sweats. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if you're gonna make it back up. <laughs> I almost didn't. Baggy sweaters out.
Bye guys. Bye guys. Say bye guys. You're done drinking water now that we're done filming, right? Yeah, and yeah. now he's dripping all over the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Hank. <laughs> bye guys. Bye guys. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. <laughs>